Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's go out and do some thrifting. Hey, -oh, back at it again. And today we're starting out with a Nerf Scout MK2. It's a little four shot cylinder pistol, 349, not a too bad of a deal. But, you know, you can get a strong arm that holds six. Uh, I'd kind of pass on that if I saw those. And Gator Golf. Moving on over here, and whoa, what do we got? We got ourselves a Vintage Blaster. We got the Nerf Balzuka, and wait a second, we got some balls in there. Are you kidding me? This thing is loaded up with ammo. Classic Blaster, really good shape for its age. I am definitely going to be picking this thing up. Yeah, 349, that's awesome. And let's just give him a little scratch. Moving on over here, we got a Dual Strike chilling on the floor. Pretty fun blaster. It shoots Mega and Elites. 349 seems to be the common price today for Nerf. Can't complain about that. And then we got one of these Alpha Strike blasters. Also, look at that, 349. Nothing I really want too much, so yeah, we'll just put those on the shelf real quick. And we'll see what else we can find up here. Under this, it looks like we got ourselves a Super Soaker, and it's in a, a different color scheme than I'm used to seeing. Let's see, 249 here. It is an Iron Man 2 blaster. Okay, so this is probably themed after the movie. Ooh, what do we got over there? What is that, a wasp's nest or something? What the heck? Yeah, this thing's definitely going back on the shelves. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate. That'd be cool to pick up. Not too bad of a price, but yeah, that's way too gross. Moving on over here, though, we got ourselves a Halo Sword. And this doesn't look like it's Nerf or anything like that. It might just be like a cosplay thing, but yeah, 249 uh, let's see if we can see any branding on it. It's from 2019. But yeah, I think it's just for like a costume or something like that. It's like super hard plastic. Uh, squishing on it right here. It doesn't really have too much give. So yeah, not really anything we could use. is like melee at our games and just listen to this. Yeah, pretty, pretty hard. But hey, pretty sick to find as well. Uh, I'm going to think about that one though. Moving on to the next aisle and we got a ton of stuff to dig through. Let's see what we can find. Starting out with a Fortnite hand cannon. This thing looks like it's been out in the rain or something. The screws are all rusty. And what? No price? Are you kidding me? All right, well, it wasn't in the best shape anyway, so yeah, it's okay putting that back. Let's see what else we can find hiding through all this mess. Look at that. We got ourselves a Master Chief mask. So, you know, if you wanted to get that sword, get that mask. That's pretty cool. We got some, like, Minecraft-type art going on. Not too sure about that. And moving on up here, it looks like... Uh, some kind of blaster let's see what this is yeah not too sure about that but next to that we have the nerf dog tennis ball launcher 349 again yeah so looks like today's prices for nerf is 349 not too bad uh down there it looks like we got the fortnite ts it also looks like it's 349 yeah look at that what do you know uh it's missing it's a little piece right there but not too bad of shape uh nothing i'm really looking for but hey for that price uh, it's pretty cool it's nice to see something like that for that price and over here, looks like we got a couple of things hiding as well. Oh, we found Nemo. And up here, we got ourselves a Walmart-style dual strike, I believe. Split strike, my mistake. A little bit pricier. They know it's two blasters, so five bucks for this one. Uh, usually, you don't see these things put together, so yeah, we're just going to leave that like that. No need to split it up. And then under here, we have a rough cut hiding. This thing is broken though, it doesn't have its priming handle, but hey, 349, there we go, now we're back at the 349s. Yeah, this thing has definitely seen better days, we'll just stick it back up there though. And moving on, we got a blaster here, not too sure about this, but it's got a bunch of attachments and yeah, why even check the price at this point, right? 349, we got a tactical storm blaster, I don't know the name of this one exactly, if you do, go ahead, drop me a comment down below. But it's got a bunch of pieces on it, so that's pretty cool, but nothing I'm really looking for. And over here, we got ourselves a Sonic Ice Mega Thunder Bow. But what do you know? There is no price sticker on this thing. So yeah, won't be able to grab that. We'll just be sticking that there. I imagine it'd be $349, but moving on over here. Oh, I don't know, though. Look at this. We got a Flip Fury for $449. What else we got going on? Uh, I saw this thing. It's pretty interesting shape. I don't really know too much about that. I, I, don't, I don't know. If you do, drop me a comment. And moving on up here, we have a Nerf Lumatron 499. Starting to get into a little bit more pricier stuff. And look at this, a blast from the past. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. We got ourselves a Proton Pack 1980s toy 249. It's missing the pack there. You can see it got ripped off. It's pretty beat up. But yeah, super fun. Little ghost catching device. 
And then over here on the next aisle, we have a blue Ravenger. I usually see the purple one if I find this, but yeah, look at that, 449. The Alien Menace stuff, I, I love the style of these blasters, really, really cool. It'd be nice if they would have had like a couple more of them before, you know, Toys R Us went out of business, but it's all good. Down here, we got another Fortnite TS, and then we have a Duminator there. Then over here in the floor, it looks like we got ourselves the Fortnite Rocket Launcher, $5.99. All right, so yeah, some of the bigger stuff, they're starting to price a little bit higher, it looks like. And then we have one of the Fortnite blasters here, and ooh, two forty nine. So yeah, a little bit cheaper. Smaller blaster, smaller price, so that's, that's always cool to see. And then going down here, it looks like we got another rocket launcher over there, but first we have a Stormtrooper blaster here. three forty nine. Hey, look at that, it's making some lights and sounds too, that's pretty cool. It's like a, it's like a strong arm style blaster, but in... A stormtrooper shell so really really cool looking blaster but i'm gonna just sit that there for right now see if we can see anything else but yeah let's check out this uh rocket launcher it looks like it's missing its stock so let's see if there's a rocket inside of its nose i don't think there was and then over here we have a sonic ice hailfire it's missing its shields it's pretty beat up 499 it's missing its handle also uh having trouble just trying to do anything with it so we'll just be sticking that back as well yep stay right there so as i was about to leave i decided to check out some puzzles and board games and i found some sealed nerf over here looks like we got ourselves a fortnite sr two of them in the box brand new but ooh, we 10 bucks yeah um i'm just gonna put those back but hey anytime you see sealed that's always cool all right let's go to the next one All right, here we are at the last stop, and it looks like we're going to be doing quite a bit of digging here as well. Starting out on the floor, though, let's check this out. We got ourselves a Nerf Pyragon, $4.99. And next to that, we have the Nintendo Wii Blaster. It's missing all the pieces, unfortunately. Next to that, we have a Duminator, $4.99. Like it usually is, it's missing some pieces. And then over here, we have a Mega Magnus. Uh, I don't see any price on this, unfortunately. That's a really nice blaster. You can do some cool integrations with that. And next to that, we have a Star Wars Chewbacca bow. Let's see if we can find the price. $249. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, let's see. Under here, what do we got hiding? Anything? Bop it. Love Bop it. And then we have a Roblox Bees blaster. Looks like it's in really nice shape. $349. Not too bad. Not too bad. And under that, we got ourselves a Firefly. Let's check out, see how much this thing is. Ooh, we eight buckaroos. Yeah, I'll just be putting that back. No, no, no. Next up, we got above that shelf, we got a Zingbo here. Those things are a ton of fun. Mm, not really seeing a price on that either, but we'll just stick that back. And then we have a Nerf Flip Blaster. I think this is the Flip 8, because there's four on one side, and then it goes into another four. Not sure if that's the official name or not, but yeah. We'll be checking this thing out real quick. Mm, yeah, interesting to see some of the newer stuff, but nothing I'm really really on the hunt for right now up there it looks like we got a x-shot blaster a couple other things maybe hiding and then we got a nerf target up here this one's a lot of fun and looks like we got one of the nerf nitro blasters for the cars and we have a vulcan tripod then over here we had a disruptor 349 looks like this store is also you know running around like four bucks or less so always nice to see and then we got a super soaker right there and of course, we're gonna come across one of Maverick or so, you know. So there we go, we got a Maverick. And over here, we got a big pile in the floor. Looks like we got ourselves a Nerf Rival Curve. I really like the design of this blaster, it's pretty sweet. 449, ah, oh, but unfortunately, it is missing its charging handle. So not really the easiest thing to use if you can't prime it. So pretty cool blaster design though, really like that one. But we'll be sticking that back as well. And then over there, a couple other things just scattered around and then we have a dart zone titan this is a flywheel style blaster 449 and it takes a chain usually it's hard to find the chain at the thrift store so pretty cool to see that that's still with it right there and yeah there's no rev trigger on it you just have to like flip it on or off and it wasn't really doing anything when i did that probably just need new batteries but nothing i really need so we'll just be sticking that back there and before we leave look at that another maverick so That'll do it for this trip. Let's go on home and see what we got. And that'll do it for this trip. I saw a lot of cool new stuff, but the one thing I went home with was that vintage Balzuka with six balls. 
super excited to find that. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe if you want. If you'd like to check out some more of my thrifting adventures, click on that playlist. If you want to see some of my gameplay, go for that one. Thanks again, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.